This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel AI with Ritesh. In this video, let's look at Canary 1 billion flash. This is a speech to text and text transcription model from NVIDIA. This is open source. This model with 883 million parameters achieves state of art performance on multiple bench, multiple speech benchmarks. Uh, this supports automatic speech to text recognition in four languages, English, German, French, Spanish, and translation from English to German or French or Spanish, from German, French, or Spanish to English with or without punctuation and capitalization. So this is a speech to text and transcription model. So if you look at the architecture of this model, it's an encoder decoder model with fast conformer uh, encoder and transformer decoder. So with audio features extracted from the encoder, task tokens such as target language, task, toggle timestamps and toggle PNC are fed into the transformer decoder to trigger the text generation process. Now this model is open source. It can be used for commercial purpose. They have released a tutorial notebook over here for you know your speech recognition and transcription. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to import this notebook into a collab instance and I'm going to try it out. Okay. So a couple of things which needs to be done for this model to run on a collab instance is that I have chosen a GPU instance, a L4 instance. It did not work on a T4 instance when I tried due to some installation issues. Okay. So first is you need to install this Nemo toolkit ASR from NVIDIA. Okay. So once you install this, you will do a session restart. So this library is a key library for you know, uh, this particular model because this particular model uses the Nemo toolkit library from NVIDIA. Okay. So once you do that, basically the first thing to be done is that you have to import this notebook. Okay. So what you do over here is that you go to file and you do upload from notebook from GitHub and you put this repository, basically this particular link over there, the notebook will be imported over here. Okay. Then to the notebook, you need to add these things. One is installation of Nemo toolkit. Okay. Another library which needs to be installed is PyDub. Okay. And another thing which I found out was the existing NumPy installation, which is 1.26.4 uh, was uh, not working properly. So I had to uninstall that and install 1.26.0 on this particular collab notebook. Okay. So once you do that, then you need to install these dependencies and also, you know, you need to uh, get the Nemo uh, toolkit from repository from the main branch. That is what is done over here. Okay. So uh, once you do this, it will again ask for a restart of the session. Then you need to install PyDub as I told. And uh, we need to also install this particular version of NumPy. Okay. Then we import libraries. Then uh, they have actually explained the Canary models over here. So the Canary uh, family of models, right? You have this 1 billion parameter, 1 million flash, 180 million flash. Uh, these models use uh, attention encoder decoder architecture, uh, use fast conformer encoder and transformer decoder. Okay. They have a nice explanation of the model architecture over here, which says uh, the input audio is converted into 128 dimensional log mel features extracted for 25 milliseconds window with a stride of 10 milliseconds. Um, the spectrogram features are then processed through encoder, the decoder conditions on the encoder output and decoder prompt to auto regressively generate one token at a time. So this is the architecture over here, a fast conformer encoder of a transformer decoder. Okay. Based on the audio from the audio features are log mel features are extracted and based on that, it actually generates the transformer, uh, uh, the conformer encoder encodes this audio and the transformer decoder decodes it to text. Okay. So there is this decoder prompt, uh, which is a key to attain multitask capability with canary models. Decoder prompt is a sequence of special tokens that define the precise task, language output, text punctuation, everything. So there is a particular example prompt template, which is there. So there is this canary to prompt formatter, which will convert your, uh, which will generate this basically the prompt and we generate the special tokens. Okay. So it creates this, the decoder prompt and the text transcript are converted to a sequence token using the tokenizer. Okay. Further details are present over here. I'll not go into that. So I'm only going to look at, uh, you know, how to use this canary model for inference, but in this notebook, there are further sections on, you know, how can you do long form audio transcription because this model typically does it for 40 seconds. So if you have uh, uh, audio, which is longer than 40 seconds, then they have actually provided code. How can you chunk the audio and then do the this thing? Okay. So what uh, is being done over here is that a particular uh, LibriLite audio data set is actually downloaded over here, over here. Okay. So that is what is done over here and it is copied into the local folder data sets folder over here. Then uh, this is a particular method to just listen to the audio. Okay. Uh, here is where we initialize this particular Canary model. It's a Canary 1 billion flash. This takes around 3 GB of GPU RAM. Okay. Uh, so once you initialize the model, uh, the model is loaded. 
so that is what happens over here okay so we have this uh, model loading which happens over here you see over here the model is loaded all right uh, then what is being done is that we do the speech to text recognition so here is an audio uh, this is the method uh, carry model dot transcribe will convert this audio to your text uh, basically uh, tokens and then the tokenizer will uh, basically it will create the transcript over here within the model okay so this is what is the transcription which is happening over here right and you can also convert this uh, transcription basically to a target language right so from english you can uh, convert it to a target language okay so here is this particular uh, this thing uh, audio let's listen to it permission to accept such additional employment should it offer having formed an article of the terms on which he had engaged me it was therefore arranged in the course of next day permission to accept so if you see permission to accept this is the uh, transcription which has happened over here okay uh, basically uh, speech to text uh, conversion which has happened over here okay which is very accurate over here all right uh, this is english speech recognition without the punctuation and uh, this thing so here you have this punctuation right here without punctuation okay so this is how it is done all right so to transcribe in a particular language you can give a target language over here like this for example if we give it as uh, say french and let's run it okay uh, it again shows as english okay because we have english but here you have the french you can see how fast it was right over here for the transcription so here is your uh, french right so let's copy this and let's do a google translate french to english let's paste it over here okay permission to accept such additional employment should be offer so it is actually doing the proper translation over here okay right so you can have speech to text translation also whatever we have seen now over here before it's the same thing which is run over here right and so it has been actually uh, uh, here what is done is that from english you are translating it to spanish okay uh, so you are converting the audio to text the source language is english in the audio you are then translating it into spanish so we can run that so we we'll, we can copy it and we can paste it over here and we can say spanish okay spanish to english yeah okay so this is a different audio it says it was therefore agreed in the course of the following day okay so uh this is the audio path which is being taken over here and it has been uh, transcribed okay so we can also do timestamp prediction over here so if you run this if you see uh, basically this is the predicted output and here is the timestamp prediction of each word over here in that particular speech okay in the particular audio right so it is able to generate timestamps okay here they have explained inference with long form support uh, long form inputs so these models are designed to handle audio smaller than 40 seconds in order to handle longer audios they provide a script with the nemo tool script which can handle chunking and perform inference okay so basically it does chunking on the long form audio sample and then uh, you know you are actually kind of stitching together all the utterances to form a story so it is kind of chunk and then on the chunk you do prediction and then you combine the predicted uh, text together okay so you can go through over here you can also train a custom canary model on custom data you can check over here right so this notebook uh, in this tutorial notebook they have provided all these options so you can check it out inference long form content inference training as well okay they also have a one uh, demo over here from nvidia maybe we can try it out uh, let's record some text over here uh, basically record audio this is ritesh shrinivasan and in this video i will be talking about nemo canary 1b flash model okay and uh, let me transcribe from english to spanish right and let me run the model over here so it says it's taking close to 5 seconds see uh este es ritesh shrinivasan and este video habardi nemo canary 1b flash model let's copy it over here paste it see ah uh, okay whatever uh, you know a little bit um, i think the pronunciation is or the spelling is gone wrong over here but otherwise it is actually captured the text properly right so you can try out this demo as well so you can try out this 1 million model for your applications where you would want to do speech to uh, basically uh, speech to text as well as for transcription 
right? And translation, okay? Translation from one language to the other language. If the original audio is in English and you want to uh, translate the text to Spanish, then you can make use of this particular Nemo Canary 1 million flash model. So this was a small demo of Nemo Canary 1B flash model. Thanks to NVIDIA, they have released this model for commercial use as well with the CC 4.0 license, CC by 4.0 license, which says that you can use for commercial use. So you can go and try out this demo. You can try out this particular model. You can try out this uh, collab notebook. Hope this video is useful. I'll be sharing the collab notebook in the description of the video. Do check out. See you.